if you're lucky, occasionally you will experience a creative moment, a time when everything you know, everything you've practiced, and everything you've imagined come together and something totally new emerges. I first recognized my own creative moment on a freezing golf course in Spokane in the last cross country race of my college career. But I feel the same creativity in my work as a scientist today. That first creative leap came at the Division III Collegiate National Cross Country Championships. I had been running all my life. As a kid, I would ask my dad to time me as I ran laps around the passenger deck of the ferry. <laughs> and I won silver dollars at the Max Welton Parade foot races. I ran on the cross country teams uh, in the South Woodby schools. In college, I had a strong senior season, moving up from a junior varsity runner to lead our team as the captain and number one runner heading into our fall championship races. I finished seventh at our divisional championship and then a surprising fifth in the New England region to lead our team to qualify for nationals. Now, I had no experience racing at the national level, so I drew on a decade of races that started here on South Whidbey. At the starting line, I knew I had a good race plan and that I was in the best shape of my life. I ran with my teammates for two miles and knew I could move up in the final mile. With half a mile to go, I started counting the runners in front of me and passing them one at a time. Seven, six, then five. With a few hundred meters to go, I could see the finish line and I poured on a finishing kick that I had been perfecting for years. In that moment, all the pieces of my preparation came together in a creative moment that carried me to a third place finish, much better than, than was expected or even seemed possible. And I immediately recognized the beauty of that creative moment, and I wanted to be able to experience it again. I now seek that creative moment in all that I do. There were no world records broken that day, and I didn't even win the race. But the lesson I learned about putting the pieces together in just the right way, at just the right time, continues to inspire me to work hard, learn, practice, and wait for just the right moment to be my best and offer the world something totally new. Every step along the way prepares us for those rare creative moments. I've since seen how that creative leap can come in other sports, in martial arts, in dance, in music, in writing, in physics, and even childbirth. When we study and practice and bring our life experiences to our endeavors, we are sometimes struck with a truly creative moment. This is when we make our contribution to our community and to our world. Now, a creative moment in sport can be beautiful and inspiring, but a creative moment in science and engineering can solve some of the biggest problems facing our global community. Energy, resource distribution, medical technology, education, and communication challenges are being tackled every day by the brightest, and most dedicated innovators in the world. As a woman in physics, I am quite aware that only 10% of PhDs in physics go to women. This means that nearly half of the potential creativity and problem-solving power for physics is essentially untapped. Physics is the most fundamental of the sciences with the potential to make the largest impacts. A breakthrough in physics does not immediately lead to a medical technology that saves people's lives or a marketable solution to the energy problem. But a creative moment in physics has a long-lasting application and provides solutions to future problems that may not have even been posed yet. My work in physics consists of little bursts of creativity surrounded by mountains of hard work and study. I remind myself often that the bad days and the frustrations are all a part of the puzzle, shuffling and sorting itself out to sometimes come together to make little steps forward. My very favorite creative moment 
came in graduate school, when the pieces came together and I was able to calculate the energy produced in the form of gravitational waves by two supermassive black holes orbiting one another in the center of two merged galaxies. <laughs> These, thank you. <laughs> These beautiful results earned me a doctorate in physics and inspire me to keep working toward my next creative moment. I have another goal from childhood, to become an astronaut and contribute my creativity as a member of the next generation of explorers. Each of us can only hope that our hard work, practice, and experience will provide inspiration at just the right moment to succeed. Thank you.